I'll actually activate Smart Terrain, but it'll be in more of a diagnostic mode so that you can see the mesh that's been created. Okay. So instantly, so just that quickly, it found the bounds of the table there, so you mm -hmm. can see the line that's going around, and then it instantly created those meshes around the, the books, the tissue box, and this um, vase-like canister. So you see the meshes on the front. I could start playing the game now or building a game world. Okay. But the way Smart Terrain works is as I, as I move around, the meshes will actually grow and become more detailed. So it learns. It does. Okay. So what that means is as the user is moving around, the game area can actually expand dynamically, which is super cool. And then as I hit next here, what's going to happen is we'll actually render the game world, and it gives you an idea of what's possible creatively. So here's where grass will start growing on the table. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see these stone pylons come up around the objects. So if I had other objects on the table, it would actually have other game elements based on those objects. If I had other cylindrical items on the table, I would get more vines growing around okay. them. So the entire game environment here is being driven by the objects on the table. And then of course the gameplay takes advantage of the, of the same objects or the game physics do. Mm -hmm. So as I fire the fireballs, they're bouncing off that stack of books. They're bouncing off that vase and the characters actually run around the edge and climb up on them. That's cool. It is really cool. Somebody told me that this is like every childhood, child's dream. And I can remember to wanting to visualize things or characters mm -hmm. to have them show up in your room or in your house. With Smart Terrain, that, that'll actually be possible. Now, the other thing that we demonstrated independently of Smart Terrain is some of our 3D recognition capability. Mm -hmm. So we, had a, um, we have a toy that we use. And I'll reach down here and grab this toy for a second. So this is a Snapdragon. Get him off my badge. This is a Snapdragon toy. And so what we'll actually do is teleport him into the game. Mm -hmm, like and we're, in a keynote. Exactly. And this is something that's very interesting. It's at the convergence of mobile and toys, where toy manufacturers are looking to connect the two. So what we're going to do here is put Snapdragon in our field of view. And you can see I've detected him. Now I'm going to press capture. He jumps in the game. And I can bring him through. So we're really bringing together digital and physical here in a couple ways. Mm -hmm. One, with smart terrain, putting digital gameplay in the real world. And then two, with this toy import capability where we can take physical toys and then bring them in to the digital gameplay. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Really looking forward to this. I think the, there's a ton of creative possibility here.